put wz132 here we shall see how I form in the forest now I love this Muranka map because of this forest and I think great work can be done here because you know I'm just gonna show you some of the stuff I can do work around the forest um, stay hidden and shit like that uh, sometimes I go fall out crazy where I jump I do some experimental stuff jump into the area there where you try to hide and um, hopefully no one will hit you but yeah you see I showed my arms because my armor aren't gonna save me much I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna rely on the armor so it's to whether if I get spotted I need to get out of trouble quickly so you know is just something I need to just jump out of the cover if I need to and therefore you know it's just because you know this dome turret it sometimes saves me but the, the, the tank doesn't bounce often and you're gonna see me just because everyone's lined up a shot I'm just gonna just scout this shit up um, spotted a ball so we spot a light tank there WZ I'm gonna make short, short work of him somehow I missed unfortunately uh, I love this WZ now um, you know in the last one I said I don't really like it but uh, now I actually really really like it for one particular reason and that is because I now get good games in it so very unlucky that I got hit by E75 and well, bad play by me actually because I wasn't looking and got hit now I'm trying to work the ball sig um, I hope the E75 is just gonna stay down there otherwise I'm gonna die if he hits me again he can't he can have a high roll and nuke me to death I think he has 490 alpha he can kind of kill me but you know after all I'm a light tank I can work around the terrain so I'm just waiting until I'm not spotted again and I tried to take out the boss now he, I'm not spotted anymore let's just Nick the Borsig again. Who said gun depression matters? Use the terrain. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not gonna stay there long, so I'm just gonna take a snapshot. I missed, and therefore I paid for it. But then this like tanking throws up the ridge, so I'm kind of scared. So what should I do? I think since no one fired me, at, uh, no one fired at me yet. It might be okay to go around I'm not sure but I do that anyway uh, just trying to help out the our frontal assault there and just try to nuke the ball suit. but then like E75 and I bounce on his ass having a laugh he missed me and I got hit by a lava and then some RT shot or something like that hit there another hit there around me but didn't actually hit my tank so gotta be careful now um, and somehow I bounced on the ass of E75 it shows you that thing is dench 5-6 losing one guy but um, shouldn't be that much of a problem to win it as if I spot the uh, people on the ridge and as you know I have a double I have a better gun than the type 59 tier 8 Chinese premium tank so yeah, oh, I can do fairly well in this tank. I'll leave the E75 just for them to finish them off, uh, finish that guy off, and you know, just trying to spot the guys there. But we don't see them, and uh, trying to work around the bushes. Get closer every time. The T-34 said just spot. Well, I know, just spot. I know that. And you can go spot the wizard. So it shows the art is ready. So, therefore, I'm just, just going to roll out here. Shit. Ah. And I got lucky because Russian accuracy there. They miss all the time. I 
I'm not confident that there's nobody down there, but since I'm not spotted yet, okay, now I'm spotted, so shit, let's get out of there. Oh, check how many tanks spotted, and oh my god, check the accuracy out. This gun can actually fire on the move pretty accurately, most of the times. And because it's a small tank, I can really play like a medium. This thing it has a medium gun, so it's not not a big deal. And to kill light tank is not a big problem anyway. We just poke and just spot that PZS FL five, and he's gonna die just any time. There goes more spots, and um, yeah, that's just over for them. It's pretty much dead for all of them. It's, in my opinion, one of the best light tanks in the game. But then I heard there's gonna be a buff with light tanks, I don't know. I dodged a shot there again. You see, uh, the game I'm playing is quite a aggressive way of playing the WZ-132 and you know I, I paid for it in the end by getting smashed by that uh, RT scumbag but uh, I think in this game I, I should have died ages ago but you see I was able to, um, to do quite a lot in the end because you know although I paid for it in the end by hitting, by getting hit by the artillery but you see how much attention I attracted from the lava you know how much they had to aim for me, and uh, I just don't really give them a chance to hit me. And then my team just does tons of damage, and that's what you want to do in a light tank. Light tank can still carry, and um, if you look at QB, he plays it very aggressively. He's Type 64, and that's why I would. That's what I would like to do in my tank. So tell me what you well, how you would like to play your light tanks. Uh, do you want to play it aggressively or passively? Um, I certainly choose both, but depending on the di different situations. And you see, WZ131. When I went to the uh, the corner of the map down there, I really hugged the co hugged the uh, cover down there, and I was I was quite lucky that nobody took aggressive position here, and I was able to get some form of support from the team. So, in my opinion, that game was pretty good. And uh, after game stats, now. So we can see I was able to get mastery bag first class and uh, patrol duty. So we, you see, I did tons of spotting damage, and that's what you want to do in this tank. And uh, for a, for a premium two day double, a uh, two day, not two day, two times experience, first win of the day. And I have to say, um, didn't put too many shots into the enemy, but it was pretty uh, good just to you know, scout for the team, and I certainly didn't do the most damage the Borsig did, but you see, I got the most XP, although I didn't get the most kills, so light tank wise, this tank is actually pretty good, um, gun depression is not that bad, um, you see, I kind of make a lot of money in this tank when I get, when I use premium, but without premium, it kind of sucks, especially if I want to fire premium round in this tank, certain shot fired, 7 hits, um, because, not because the gun's not accurate, it's actually pretty accurate for the 100mm gun for the Chinese tanks, but you see, I didn't have the time to stay and aim, because if I exposed myself, I could have died in the end, for example, I was trying to snapshot like the lava, and I did actually snapshot the uh, Yak Panda 2 to get the kill, so we did 7 detected enemies, and um, we dan uh, we damaged four and we destroyed one. We did five thousand five hundred seventy eight spotting damage, and that is why we won the game fairly comfortably because I was able to do the spotting there, and then um, splash damage one. I don't is that me taking it or uh, or I did it to others? I don't think I did it to it, uh, others. I think I got splashed. Yeah, probably the um the artillery shot in the end splashed me. Um, otherwise, this tank's alright. Yeah, I really like it, but you know, it takes time to train yourself up to it. And also, you need, you definitely need um, six cents. Without six cents, light tanks cannot be played properly and aggressively, nor can it be played passively. So, get your six cents ASAP, and uh, hopefully, um, tell me what you think about this video. And thanks for watching.